Good morning, my family in Christ. Welcome to another morning devotion. And as we continue sharing today, our key words, give thanks. And we're giving thanks as believers to God with the understanding of who he is and who we are in him. And today, we consider the steadfast love of God that endures forever. And we know that our forefathers and those before them, they stuck with God in difficult times, in challenging seasons, and God never failed them. And that brought us to faith in God. And for that today, we are grateful as we think about the steadfast love of God that endures forever. And I invite us today to do as Psalm 100 has declared. And as we read it, let's hear the heart of the writer and how they describe with understanding and conviction who God is and their response to him. And today, let it be an encouragement to us as believers as we seek to share this in our living today. We are called to be thankful. We are called to bless his name. And the psalm said, make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come into his presence with singing. Know that the Lord, he is God. It is he who made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and in his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. For the Lord is good and his steadfast love endures forever and his faithfulness to all generations. The word of God to the people of God. Indeed, for us to be grateful and thankful, there must be some knowledge of what we are talking about. And that's what Psalm did in the third verse. Know that the Lord, He is God. Don't we know that today? That God is current, present, always. He is God. It is He who made us. That's enough to be thankful for. We breathe what God has given to us. We are living in what God has made for us. We are operating in what God has given to us. We ought to be thankful. And then we should declare it in our living. Yes, it should be thanks living today. And every day, we ought to enter in his gates with thanksgiving, wherever we are. The next move we make in is the gates that we just opened. We ought to enter into that space with thanksgiving and into the courts of the Lord with praise. We ought to give thanks, bless his name. Then we ought to rest on the fact that the Lord is good, present. He is good. His steadfast love. Imagine without the love of God, where we would be, drifting without hope. But His love brought us back. Can we just be thankful? Because of the steadfast love of God, it endures. It endures. It endures. It cannot end. It cannot be stopped. It cannot even be paused. It endures forever. 
Let's be grateful to him today. Father, we thank you. And we praise you. We adore and we bow down as we join the psalmist today. This is what we declare. This is what we sow into ourselves today. And this is what we will act out today. We will be grateful. We will be like a seed that passed through the ground and showing fruit and being in shade. We will be thankful. We will bless your name for you are good and your steadfast love endures forever. Help us to seek to know you so that we may burst forth praise and thanksgiving unto you in our homes, in our place of work, in the service of God in our communities. May we be thankful and show forth your praise so others will know that the Lord is good, the Lord is merciful, the Lord is gracious, and as well. And so we give you praise today in the season of thanks living. That's what we ought to do every day of our lives. We ought to be given thanks. And we honor you today. As we pray for those who lead the nations, including our Prime Minister and all in Parliament. Those who lead, we give you thanks, including their families today. We pray the blessings of the Almighty that we will be an example of a grateful heart in our living today. We pray for the peace of Jerusalem and for families everywhere. We give you thanks. We give you praise. We bless your name for who you are and whose we are in you. We thank you for getting us again to a lively hope, for raising us up again. Hallelujah. What a mighty God. What a great God who can lift us and keep us and preserve us and cause us to be in heavenly places. By Christ Jesus, our Lord, we give you thanks. And we pray this in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of Holy Spirit. We give you thanks. In Jesus' name and for his sake. Amen. God bless you today and keep you as we seek to be grateful, thankful to him and to bless his name. Have a great day in the Lord. Amen.